Well, you wanted to know how much does it cost to live in Staten Island, New York. This video is going to go all into the cost of living in Staten Island, New York. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is George Wanaka. I'm a local realtor here in Staten Island, New York. And as part of this video, I'm going to go into what is the cost of living from mortgage payments to rent payments to what's the cost of gas to transportation to pretty much everything that you could possibly think of about the cost of living here in Staten Island, New York. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be doing a lot more other videos on about Staten Island, such as what's the best neighborhoods? What restaurant should I go to? Where do I want to go if I want to have a burger and a beer? What are those best places to eat at? So hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get notified when a new video is coming to you. Now, let's get into it. So hey, let's deal with this big elephant that's hanging out in the room, right? So one of the biggest things about Staten Island that a lot of people always talk about is the prices of homes. And yes, prices of homes are a little bit expensive, but in relation to other parts of the city, we're actually on the cheaper side. When you look at the New York as a whole, Staten Island is a little bit more expensive. However, from the nationwide average, we're a lot more expensive, but that's what happens when you're living in a major metropolitan area. So Staten Island's medium home cost is approximately $520,000. Now, the rest of New York is a little bit lower on the side, but that also takes into much rural parts of New York and not necessarily just the city, where the average is approximately $305,000. Meanwhile, as, as a national average, you're talking about $231,200. So yes, is Staten Island a little bit more expensive to buy? Absolutely, because again, you're in a major metropolitan neighborhood as well as the financial capital of the world. Now, when you look at things such as the utilities of Staten Island, most of the time you're, you're looking at around about $150 with your water and, and your sewer charges, your electric charges, depending on your usage, and your garbage picks up and things of that nature. Now, we're pretty much on par for a lot of the places throughout the country on that average. You know, our transportation, that's where you get a little bit, you know, picky. So we've kind of talked about purchasing a property, but we haven't talked about renting a property. So let's do that right now. A lot of our rental prices are very high as well. And in some cases, even higher than if you decided to buy something. But let's go into a little bit about what the rental numbers are at this point. So if you were looking to rent a one bedroom apartment nowadays, you would be looking at approximately $1,500 for that apartment Two bedrooms normally go for about $1,800, uh, and a three bedroom would go as much as $2,400 to $2,500. If you were fortunate enough to find a three bedroom, because they're very hard to find, and four bedrooms, huh, you're looking at almost $2,600 to $2,700, which for a lot of people is a mortgage payment. So there is definitely some rental market still in Staten Island, but those are what the numbers which you would be looking at if you decided that you wanted to rent something. Now, like anything else, some areas are going to be a little bit more money. Some areas are going to be a little bit less money. It all depends on, like anything else, location, location, location. So that really talks to you more about the rental market. So now you have your house, you're living in it, you're paying your bills. How do you get to work? Well, let's talk about that. So now let's just see another big elephant in the room. Well, our transportation because Staten Island is one of the five boroughs of New York City, as many of you already know. Now, because we're one of the five boroughs in New York City, but we're not connected by a subway or other means of transportation, we have limited to the city. Now, we do have access. That doesn't mean that we don't. We've got the Staten Island Ferry, which operates for free. Yes, you heard that right, free. But it doesn't go to all sections of Manhattan. Now, the only other ways of getting into Manhattan are our bus systems, which go over the Verrazano Bridge and over our, our bridges coming to and from Staten Island, as well as good old fashioned driving in your car. Now, unfortunately, th those are some of our limitations, but again, it does not mean that it's not a, an affordable place for you to live in. It just means that there's gonna be some commute times and you just have to adjust accordingly for those. So from an, from an average perspective on our transportation, we are what we are. It is what it is. But there are other good things that you get from living on Staten Island. So now, let's say you didn't want to 
take public transportation and you really weren't a boat person and you didn't want to take the ferry. Let me tell you a little bit about what the gas prices are on Staten Island. So today, April 3rd, the average price of gas is approximately $2.55. So if you watch this video and we're a couple of months later on, drop me a line in the comments and I'll let you know what's the average price of gas today when you ask that question. Like anything else, you go online and you can find different uh, gas stations all over Staten Island that might have it even cheaper than that two uh, fifty-five. I found a couple of them not too far away from where I live in Westerly for like two forty-seven and a little bit lower, two forty-five. So depending on the day, we all know gas prices go up and go down. So you're working now. You come home from work, but what do you, exactly do you work for? Well. You work for restaurants, you work to have your leisure time, you work to do a lot of different things. And Staten Island has some of the best restaurants, bar none, in all of the city. We have also some of the best parks and golf courses throughout the city as well. So whenever you want to be able to go and do something that you want to do in your leisure time, guess what? Staten Island's got some of the best activities for you to do. So you want to go to those restaurants. Exactly what does it cost for you to go to eat there? Well, most of the restaurants in Staten Island have specials left and right. But most of the time, for two people, you're talking about anywhere between $60 to $75, depending on if you have a nice glass of wine or you have a nice brewski. I'm, you know, I'm a beer drinker myself, so that's what I'm drinking. But let's say, for instance, you don't want to go out to eat. You just want to stay home because you want to eat healthy. And that's awesome. Groceries. Our grocery prices are pretty much exactly what the national average is. We're not much higher. We're not much lower. Um, but So it's not really going to cost you any extra dollars on one side or the other side if you wanted to stay home and cook that meal for yourself. So like I said, I am a local realtor here. So if your job has you moving to Staten Island or if you have an affordability factor that makes you want to move to Staten Island, feel free to give me a call. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have um, in regards to relocating to Staten Island, New York. I can communicate with you any way that you like. Um, you can find me on most social mediums and uh, it'd be my pleasure to try to help you the best I can. So if you know where you want to live or if you have a generalized idea of how you want to may maybe play, there are so many different areas in Staten Island that might be conducive to what you're looking to do. Give me a call. I'll be happy to work through you with it, get some information from you, and try to figure out what fits for you and, uh, and do my best to help you out. If you like more of a walkable town neighborhood, there's a certain avenues for that. If you like more of a downtown area where there's more walkability, if you like more properties with bigger pieces of property and, and more open space, all different types of towns. So give me a call and we'll, we'll try to work through what's best works for you. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Comment down below if you've been to Staten Island, if you agree, if you disagree. I'd love to hear from you. And also answer any questions that you might have in the comments down below. I'll be checking them periodically and be able to answer those questions on here just as much. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be doing more videos on Staten Island. What is it like to live here? What are the top restaurants to be here? What are the top golf courses to play here? So definitely hit that subscribe button and we'll see you soon.